Upcycling is a real buzzword at the moment, with people looking to add value to old, pre-loved objects that have seen better days. Items of domestic wear made of EPNS or electroplated nickel silver offer a great opportunity to break into this expanding market. They're comparatively easy to rejuvenate with our silver plating solution, but once finished have that all-important wow factor. I'll be showing you how to do this by re-silver plating this early 20th century EPNS serving dish. As you can see, most of the old silver plate is worn off, and you can see the straw colour of the metal underneath. But silver plating with our plating solution will soon restore it to its former glory. So, just to recap, in this project I'll be covering working out plating solution quantities and plating times, how to prepare the surface of your work with MPU and ActiClean, and finally, silver plating on EPNS using Spa Plating's large flat platinum electrode. No matter how big or small the plating job, I find it's a good idea to estimate how much plating solution I'll need and how much time it'll take to plate. This makes costing the job for the customer much easier. Fortunately, now there's an easy way of doing this by using Spa Plating's online plating calculator. All you have to do is estimate the surface area of your work and enter this in, and the maths are done for you. I'm now going to show you a straightforward way to work out the surface area of your work. All you'll need is a square piece of paper measuring 10 cm by 10 cm. To prepare this, you'll need a pair of scissors, a ruler and a pen or pencil. Take a piece of A4 paper and mark off 10 cm along one side. Do the same along the opposite side and then draw a line to connect the two points. Repeat these steps on the short sides of your piece of paper and then cut out the resulting square. Mark it out clearly and you now have a 100 squared centimetre template which can be used to estimate the surface area of any larger piece of work. Just count how many times you can place the template against the surface of your work like this. I found I could place my template about five times over the surface of the lid of this server, so that means I have to multiply 100 squared centimetres by five. I now know that the surface area of the lid of this server is 500 squared centimetres. All I have to do now is go to our online plating calculator and enter in these figures. So I select the plating solution I'm using, which is silver, Enter in my estimated surface area, which is 500. I think I'll plate to a thickness of 1 micron, and this so far gives me a volume of 25 millilitres. I'm going to be using a large flat swab, and once I've chosen that, it automatically shows me a plating time of about 17 minutes. Now I know what I need, I can set up my working area and have everything ready. I'll need a bottle of MPU with some tissue, a couple of trays, a bottle of ActiClean and silver plating solution, a large flat platinum electrode and two swabs to fit and two beakers, one for measuring out the silver solution and the other for the ActiClean and plating. If you're going to use only one large beaker, make sure you rinse it out thoroughly between the ActiClean stage and the plating. The next thing to do is to prepare the surface of my work for plating. We recommend you plate large pieces in segments cleaning one area, plating, and then moving on to another area, cleaning and plating and so on. I've estimated that plating the lid will take about 17 minutes, so I think I'll divide this piece into three areas and spend about five minutes plating each section. I'm cleaning the first section thoroughly with MPU and once that's done I'll rinse and then get plating immediately. After having spent five minutes plating this section, I'll rinse off and then clean the next section with MPU, rinse and plate for another five minutes. After having plated the three main sections of my piece, I'm going to concentrate on the decorated handles. The details in these handles have collected a lot of old polish over the years and to remove this I'm using ActiClean at 5 to 7 volts and then dislodging the old polish with a sharpened matchstick and some MPU. 
Once these are cleaned, I can rinse and then plate and the piece is finished. When you're sure you've finished plating, you can bring out the final luster of your work with our Meta Seal, which will also help to slow down further tarnishing.